hi everyone in this video we will see how to invoke a uh, grpc request from a postman so for the demo i have created a simple grpc server in eclipse which will accept one service only uh, which will accept two parameters and it will return the same two parameters uh, by concatenating the hello in front of that two parameters okay and the two parameters is the first name last name and you will see the response as a hello first name and last name okay so now we are just we are trying to uh, invoke uh, or we will trying to use postman as a client to invoke the grpc request okay uh, first to invoke a grpc request we need uh, two things uh, in what to do it from postman one thing that you should have any already created a workspace in your postman or uh, you can create a workspace uh, during your uh, first call first invoking of grpc request okay uh, and the second most important thing that we need uh, to run or to invoke any of the services of the grpc request is dot proto file so which will have the all the information regarding your services and your uh, invocation methods okay so uh, as i mentioned earlier we need a workspace that should be created in the postman so i have created a workspace earlier and uh, now we have a postman uh, we have a postman ready with the workspace created now uh, when you open a postman so you will see a screen like this then click on the new uh, button here uh, then you will see the grpc request and http request all the available options in the postman okay so here uh, uh, click on the grpc request okay so uh, if you don't create a workspace so this this options this options will be disabled the grpc request workspace monitor mock server these things will be disabled so you cannot click it so that's the reason why we need a uh, workspace to uh, to create a to test or to make a grpc request okay um then uh, once you have a once you created a grpc request in the from the postman this is how it look like so this require this uh, this request holds uh, multiple parameters let me explain each of them so this this is the server and a port number of your grpc server and this is the this is the path where you need to upload or you can need to give the url of your proto file okay uh, and once you once you upload or provide the proto uh, file details it will populate the list of services available in that prototype okay so and when you select the prototype so here you will this option generate example message will be enabled and this helps us to uh, create the request i mean the required parameters what we need to send to the uh, service what to invoke our uh, grpc request okay now uh, my server runs on localhost 6565 so let me give the local host 6565 colon 6565 okay now i'm going to import the dot proto file uh, from my local so i have that so which i have created a with so this is what i created so uh, i am inputting the same hello world proto file so once that is done click on next and here we have an option to import as and create alias name so i am not going to do that uh, currently just which is not required for us now so i just am ignoring it okay so as i mentioned earlier once you import the file it will populate the listing list of services available right so here the list of services available is only one which is say hello so in the say hello uh, when this have selected this so uh, generate example message is enabled automatically so when you click on this it will populate the required parameters uh, need to be sent to the service so now i am giving the uh, first name and last name uh, first name as test uh, and last name as a user last name as a user okay now if you click invoke you should see the response if nothing goes wrong 
uh, you got the status code as zero and you got in 402 milliseconds and you got the response and this is also the field that mentions in the prototype so protofile sorry if you go to that if you go to the uh, protofile so this is the options that we have like so this is the object what you're sending and this is the object what you're receiving and this is the service which you're going to invoke okay so here we have only one service so this is what it was showing so now uh, yeah this is how we are going to use so if you want to create a or if you want to invoke a new grpc request uh, you can uh, i mean you can duplicate this or you can uh, save as you can save this and you can make uh, the same file and just change the service available services and you can uh, apply the same uh, i mean you can update the same uh, request body not the same like the respect to fields applicable for the next service and you can uh, use this so if you just i'm trying just giving a showcase like just if i uh, remove the unwanted i mean like uh, if i provide an invalid uh, port or service it will return with some different error yeah it's put in unavailable okay see so this is how it looks like like uh, uh, friends so just please uh, make sure you have a valid information and you are able to access your uh, server and port from your machine before you're trying to test the from it postman okay thanks for listening this please subscribe and share the video